Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. Are you ready for some Halloween treats? I've got four Halloween treat videos for you this week, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There will be, uh, for today's project, a free PDF, and um, like I said, three other projects for you to check out. Now this project is a little bag, and the Tricks and Treats bundle actually has a die for that. I love making treat containers. Um, but when, when there is a die to make it and it makes it easy, I love it even more. So I'm going to show you how to do that and we'll make these adorable little candy corns. Now, the one thing you can't see is that this piece right here is our glow in the dark paper. Um, if I turned out the lights, maybe you could see it, but we won't do that. You'll just have to trust me. All right. We've got a lot of little things to do before we put the whole thing together. Um, the first thing I want to do is splatter my bag pieces. So I have cut out um, the bag from basic black, and you're going to want to cut it out twice. And I'm going to take my silicone mat and just some craft white ink. I'm going to squeeze it out if I can get it to come out just a little bit. That's probably way more than I need. And then I'm going to spritz it with water to dilute it. Oh, look, I'm already getting some spritz there. And then I'm gonna take my water painter and just mix it around. And then I'm just gonna splatter like that. Make sure you have covered your workspace. You can flick it like that too. Got big drops, little drops. I like the big ones because they stay um, solid and they're not quite so opaque. All right, let's see, I could do this all day. All right, I think we'll leave it there. Now, make sure you wash out your water painter so that um, that white craft ink doesn't dry in there. All right, let's move these over here to dry. And the next thing I'm gonna do, let's flip it over since it has wet paint on it. I'm gonna color a piece of my uh, ribbon. Now, on my original project, I used our smaller um, gingham check, but I am out of it. I can't find my roll if I had any left. So we're gonna use the other, this is called black and vanilla large check ribbon, which is just as cute. And I'm gonna color it with my pumpkin pie stamp and blend. And this is really easy if you've never done this before. Just take the brush end of your marker and run it down your ribbon. Um, this is gonna make the ribbon a little bit stiffer uh, which I find makes it makes working with it a little bit easier. Not that it's that hard in originally, but just it gives you a little more to work with. All right, and it bleeds through the back side, but this has a white trim on the edge. So I'm just gonna go down the edge and make sure we get all of that. Okay, so now let's let that dry. Now we've got one more thing that we're gonna need to let dry. I have cut out a piece of our vellum, the polka dot vellum, and I'm gonna color it pumpkin pie. Now we're gonna back it on pumpkin pie, but it wasn't quite orangey enough for me. So I'm just gonna take a blending brush and my pumpkin pie and just add some color to it. And um, you can do this for as much as you like, for as solid as you like but really you don't need too much because we are putting that pumpkin pie circle behind it. All right, there we go. So we've got that. Let's let that dry. Now let's put our candy corn together, okay? Um, I have done all the die cutting ahead of time so you don't have to watch me. I cut out three pumpkin pie solid pieces. Now you've got three dies here for your candy corn. This one, and then this one's the bottom yellow, and this one's the white, the top. I had to actually Google it because I couldn't remember which goes on the bottom, which goes on the top. So I did the Googling for you, you can trust me. According to the internet, that's how it is. Now before I cut out these smaller pieces, I put adhesive sheet on the back of a cardstock so that now it's just a sticker and I'm just gonna peel it off. I have these acrylic nails, which makes it hard to peel off, so I'm using my uh, take your pick tool. Take your pick tool is like your Swiss army knife of crafting. It really does everything that you need. All right, let's get that on here like that. We've got one more. Now, of course, 
you could use glue, but I make a mess with liquid glue. So whenever I can use adhesive sheets, I try to do that. And you don't have to wait for any dry time. All right, now this is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's hard to see which side the adhesive sheet is on. I think I've got the right side. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll put that one. Okay, come on. Right. <laughs> I can't get it lined up right there. And you can actually kind of feel the side with the adhesive sheet. It's a little slicker, a little smoother. Not that the cardstock's not smooth, it just feels a little like waxy, kind of like wax paper. All right, maybe I need to pick this up. All right. I think these candy corn are the cutest. I've always tried to make candy corn in the past. Now we have a dye to make candy corn, which makes me very happy. You could really do these in lots of colors. Candy corn actually does come in lots of colors. Of course, this is your traditional candy, cane, candy corn color. Now, if you're not on board with candy corn, don't worry. You don't have to eat these. And if you don't like candy corn, I recommend you mixing it with peanuts and giving it a try. Trust me, it's delicious. Okay, so now we have got our vellum circle. It's pretty dry. I'm gonna put my adhesive right in the middle so it'll be covered up here in a minute with whatever I'm doing. Sometimes it shows through and sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on how light or dark your uh, paper is. All right, so this is a nested essential die um, that I have cut from our glow-in-the-dark paper. Our glow-in-the-dark paper was so popular in the beginning, it was out of stock for a long time, but they have, as of right now, replenished the stock. It's been, it has stayed in stock for quite a while. So hopefully you have grabbed some or add it to your next order. All right, now I'm gonna put these guys with dimensionals and I might have to rearrange them a little bit. Yeah, let's move this one over just a bit like that. Then for the middle one, I'm actually going to stack two dimensionals so it's a little bit higher. Okay, like that. And we'll put that right there. Okay, now let's stamp our sentiment. And I'm just going to cut these words apart with my trimmer. I'm gonna stamp them in pumpkin pie on basic white cardstock. And let me grab my trimmer. Ooh, looks like I have some on my fingers too. Don't do that. Okay. And then we'll just, you know what? I think we can do the rest with scissors. Let's just do this real quick trick or treat. This is a fun little grab bag of candy. I mean, anything will go in here. If you like to hand out little goodie bags to your trick-or-treaters or maybe your grandkids or a class party, would these would be fun to hand out. All right, so now I'm gonna put a dimensional over kind of on the right side of that one. And I'll put a dimensional over here on the left side of this one. We'll do like that. And then this guy, he's gonna need a little mini dimensional because he's pretty small. So we'll put one here. I do love my dimensionals. And on a project like this, when we are not mailing it, we don't have to worry about postage. I'm really gonna use a lot of dimensionals. All right, the last thing, let's bring over our bow. See how the ribbon is a little bit stiffer? I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, let's see if I can do this right, come on. There we go, and let's trim off those ends. That one looks pretty good. Let's trim off that end. Man, I did pretty good, didn't I? Figuring out exactly how much I needed. Okay, a mini glue dot. And we'll put that right there. 
Okay, so our decoration, our tag on the front of our bag is ready. Now let's put our bag together. We're gonna do one little thing to our bag first um, before we put it together. And this is, of course, optional. You don't have to do this. Um, but it comes with a die that will cut the top off and make it, uh, you know, like a zigzag. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my cut and emboss machine and I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. All right, and I've got some post-it tape. Post-it tape, another must-have in your crafting arsenal. And I'm gonna line that up with the top. Put that piece, I'm gonna do two pieces because I don't want it to slip. So we'd have to start all over. All right, let's run that through. All right, let's check it out. Now your post-it tape is pretty sticky, but not sticky enough to rip your paper. All right, look at that. Very cute. Now again, that is a step you most definitely could skip if you were maybe making a bunch of them. Don't worry about that step. It does make it pretty cute though, doesn't it? All right, tear and tape, if I can find the end. We're gonna put right here and right here. This bag is very, very easy to put together. All right, let's peel off that backing. And you're just gonna overlap these, matching the edges like that. Now, before we go any further, let's burnish our lines. Get your bone folder. Kind of looks like space, doesn't it, with those white splatters, whoops. And we'll burnish all of these. There we go, all right, now I'm gonna take this one off and we're just gonna fold it over and if you lay it flat and lay that flat, it will go together perfectly. All right, now tuck these in and I'm gonna put some adhesive, and I think just for the sake of time, and it's just easier, I'm gonna use stamp and seal on the bottom. Okay, you can take your bone folder and really push those things down so they stick. And I have some candy here. Let's see, I've got some M&Ms. They fit in there really well. Snickers. All right, there we go. So you can see it's not terribly huge. It's not gonna cost you a fortune, although candy is pretty darn expensive these days. But it's not gonna, you don't have to fill it with too many, maybe three or four pieces and you're good. And voila, there we have it, a fun trick-or-treat bag. I hope you guys liked it. I really, really like this die right here. Um, I am gonna play with that a bunch and uh, see what else we can make out of it. I think we've got some other options maybe to make out of that, we'll see. Um, but here is how it was intended. I hope you guys liked it. Again, click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.